Well, so this is probably about a month's worth of trash picking. Maybe a little over, probably about six weeks. So basically the end of May into just about now, which is uh, about the first week of August. So we've got a bunch of stuff. I guess we can start right over here. Uh, first off, let me preface some of this video to uh, what my plans are. Now some of the stuff isn't inherently worth anything. However, I've noticed on my channel, um, some of my most uh, well-performing videos are like basically of the simplest things. My most recent one was uh, fixing the switch or bypassing a switch on a shark vacuum. That one based on the analytics has been doing very well and has actually been making quite a bit of ad revenue. So I'm gonna kinda try and keep that going um, with some similar videos like that and hopefully it can help some people out and obviously it's worth it to do so on my end. But uh, so we got these two Bissell bagless machines here. I'm not a fan of these. These are probably about some of the worst vacuums ever made. Their uh, higher end machines are quite better, um, but these ones are just not all that great, really cheaply made. But maybe we can uh, make one good working one out of this and I can show you guys how to disassemble one and take one apart. I don't know if they work or not. I haven't plugged them in. Then I found this Panasonic vacuum, which uh, looks very similar to a Kenmore because the older Kenmores were Panasonic's, just renamed. So this one actually has a uh, HEPA bag inside, which I've not seen that before. But then again, I've only ever picked up a few of these and that's really all it's ever been. But I've never seen this type of thing here. You actually just lift it up like a basket. It's kind of cool. Um, I've never seen a Kenmore machine that has that feature. So it's kind of interesting. Now what we have here is there's no attachments, but I actually have a full set of attachments from another Kenmore that I scrapped. And uh, the attachments that it had looked like they were never used. So this thing still has the cord in it, the cords in the back. You guys can see it right down there. Um, it's missing a wheel, which I suspect is the reason why it was thrown away. And then uh, these always ha always seem to have with the Kenmores the issue with uh, these wearing out. So if you guys watch this, you can lift it up move it with your hand which you shouldn't be able to do you're supposed to depress this and of course there's no spring tension left in it but looks like it's either been serviced or hardly used i would say that it's been relatively it's been routinely serviced because this brush roll looks to be in really good condition which i really found interesting I found this Brother laser printer. Um, it's already got a home if it works. I'm not sure if it does yet or not. I haven't tried it out. Probably and more than likely it does work, but we'll see what's gonna go, what's gonna happen with that. And then these tools go to one of those vacuums. So then we have this machine, which the guy was actually outside and he put it in the back of my truck for me. Uh, I had asked him if he had any lawnmowers that he was getting rid of and basically said no. But uh, he was more than happy to give me this. I asked him what was wrong with it. And uh, his words, the only reason they threw it away, or his wife threw it away, was because it has a bunch of hair wrapped around the brush roll. If that's not the kind of society we live in, I don't know what would reference that to be. But it's pretty standard. Either these things are clogged up or it's something simple like that and people get rid of them and buy a new one. So we'll probably do a service video on this. I can't remember if I've done one on this particular machine or not, um, but we'll definitely take a crack at it and see what's worth it or not. Then I've got a couple Shark Navigators. This one I only picked up for the parts on it. I believe that this hose is good. It's a very common issue with these that they crack and break. Um, really as they age. This one, I'm not sure. I mean, I'm assuming that the hose itself is cracked and broken because they have it taped up. I thought for a minute it was just taped up to here, but I don't think that's the case. So this one's kind of got the, a little bit of a lean going on. I don't know what's going on with that. Um, I think this one's actually newer. 
that this one doesn't really do that as bad as this one does. But that's a kind of the crappy thing about these shark machines is they uh, they don't really last that long, especially if they're used a lot. I mean, they clean well enough, but we'll see about uh, getting you guys a couple videos on these. I'm hoping to get one of them working, hopefully the silver one. If not that, then hopefully the purple one will work. The purple one's going to need more work. The tweakers cut the cord off. They took the dust bin, which is standard. Um, I know that another common issue on these is these switches like to go out. So hopefully one of these switches works. Uh, let's see. So this was from another machine that I scrapped and sold parts off of. The shark rotator canister, those are worth money on eBay. Same with this Dyson canister, I just picked that up. And the vacuum was trashed, but for whatever reason, the uh, dustbin was left behind. So I grabbed that, got some parts off of that shark. And we've got an Oret commercial, which true to form, the tweakers cut the cord. Thankfully, they didn't cut this one. Uh, I believe this is a... Where's the year on it? I believe it's a 2001, but I'm not sure. Looks like it just needs a good clean up and service. It should be okay. But these Oryx, even if they do need a lot of work, Generally, the parts for them that they need are not, not all that expensive, but it's just got the single switch, and that actually looks to be the problem is the switch. I've actually never seen that happen before. It's probably why they threw it away. Then I found this. Back to what I was saying earlier, Bissell vacuums. So this, I believe, is one of their top-of-the-line models, and uh, the build quality is a lot better. Handle's broken, found it like that. And uh, let's see, there was something else that was wrong with this thing. Can't remember what it was offhand, but it needed two parts and the handle was one of them. So what I did was I've already ordered the parts that this thing needs. So we're gonna do a full detail and restore on this thing and get it working again. And then uh, you guys will obviously get a video on that. It does work. It's got a clog in it. I uh, turned it on and everything and not sure where the clog is, but hopefully uh, it's not too bad. When I found these two shark machines, I wouldn't be surprised if this one works. Of course, I wouldn't be surprised if that one works either, but, you know, the tweakers cut the cord off, the hose is missing, but they left the attachments, which doesn't really make any sense because normally they take all of it. This one I must have got right when they put out because uh, it's still got everything on it. And I wouldn't be surprised if the only thing wrong with this one is a, uh, a clog or something like that. And then I've got this Electrolux power nozzle. Uh, I had the canister with it. I had the hose with it, both of which were just too far gone. They weren't really worth anything. Uh, what sucks about those plastic Electroluxes, and uh, probably this thing has the same issue too. I haven't taken it apart yet. The plastic becomes very brittle. So over a not very long length of time, it basically falls apart. And just as they age, it's kind of normal. In fact, if I was to probably whack this thing with a hammer a couple times, not very hard, it'd probably crack it. Uh, of course, if I was to do that to one of these, they'd be fine. So we're going to have a look at this. Maybe I can find a different project for it. I have no idea. Maybe I can uh, jerry-rig it to work with that that would be kind of interesting but i'm not too sure what i'll be able to do with it just yet and then i found this uh handicap sign that was with a bunch of other stuff and i just grabbed it all um, found this six ton hydraulic bottle jack with a new bottle of fluid or uh, jack oil i'm not sure if this thing works or not i haven't tried it out um it's been leaking. I think they tried to service it for some reason, or maybe they tried to bleed it. I don't know. Uh, but like I said, I haven't tried it yet. Um, if it works, great. If not, it goes in the scrap pile. 
So then I've got this Kirby vacuum, which is uh, just a Kirby Heritage with Heritage two parts put on it. Unfortunately, the Heritage parts were either too far gone or they just didn't match up. And then I found this Heritage two that was in the trash and uh, the body was shot, but the parts that I took off of it weren't. So I just took the good parts off of it and put them onto this one. And so now instead of the shakeout bag that the Heritage originally had, this one has one that can use disposable bags, which I greatly prefer. I am not a fan of any sort of shakeout bag on a vacuum. And then I also found a bunch of attachments for the Heritage series. I really, this is really what I wanted. Looks like it's never been used. And what's kind of funny about that is a lot of these attachments that I find for Kirby's or rainbows or whatever. Um, it's like they hardly ever use any of the attachments that they bought. I don't know exactly why that is. Huh. So I've got the original serial number card. That might come in handy. I knew there'd be an extra belt in there, but this one's done for. So then we got the uh, water tank for this, which this is one of those things that I don't really ever actually use, but here's the use and care guide that I will keep. Um, and you know what? I don't even know if I have the whole set here. That's probably done for. So that's uh, something to keep in mind. And I always pick these up, these Chilton's. They kind of come in handy, but honestly, they're just fun to read. I don't know, I'm weird. I like to read technical manuals. That's how I kind of learned a lot of the stuff that I do now is just reading manuals. And of course, uh, applying it to practice. So, and by the way, this vacuum works perfectly. I just need to polish it up. And I just found this this morning, this Troy Belt TB200 self-propelled lawnmower. Unfortunately, it did not come with the bag. It's also missing the hardware to keep the handle in, as well as the hardware to keep the handle locked in place. So I should have some of that stuff in the hoard. Unfortunately, like I said, they did not include the bag with it. But I might pull the bag off of this one and put it on this one. I believe that they'll fit. How old is this actually? There it is. Yeah, usually it's in the emissions. Twenty fourteen. So this thing's six years old. It actually looks like it's a little younger than that, but I guess not. So it's got compression, the motor turns, uh, probably about 99% chance that it's a carburetor issue with that white jet that's in the middle of the bowl. That'll be an easy enough fix, clean it up and sell it on. Might be able to get, I don't know, 160 to 200 for it, depending on how the market is. And then I found this uh, Craftsman four cycle weed whacker, which is missing the head. It's also missing the carburetor, the filter box, and the gas cap and the spark plug apparently. Um, but it does turn over. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with it yet. It was just with a bunch of other stuff, so I grabbed it. It's kind of what I do. And then I found this too. I'm sure that works fine. Um, so then I've got this McLean Edger. And I've already cleaned this thing off. That part was actually put in a different video and it'll probably be up after this one. Um, but that's just where I went through and tried some of that super clean stuff on some really greasy and grimy stuff and this particular tool was one of them so this thing has compression it's a 1967 which where is it yeah codes right here i don't know if the camera can see that or not there you go it's a 1967 so it's really old uh, it's got compression, like I said. It's got the old school ratchet starter, points and, points and condenser. I don't know if it has spark or not. I haven't messed with it. But that'll be a separate video. And sorry, it's not a McLean, it's a power trim. 
kind of confused me because of the color. And then I found this, which this works. I put a new primer bulb on it. I didn't make a video on that, um, but it needs probably the carburetor diaphragm replaced, which isn't a big deal. And I need to straighten out that back right wheel. Um, other than that, it runs and uh, I mean, it just exhibits the symptoms of a bad diaphragm. So that'll be easy enough to fix and replace. And that'll be an easy hundred bucks probably once I get that working. Um, this thing, which some of these lawnmowers kind of mix together, but this one actually works. Um, I believe you guys might have seen a video on it by now. If not, it's on the way. Um, but it's got compression, runs really good. Just needed a carburetor service, and uh, it was missing this little flapper here, which I had in the hoard, and I was able to put that on there. It's not perfect, but it works. But the high rear wheels are one of the main good things about this particular lawnmower. But uh, I believe that's about it for uh, this trash haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I don't think there's really anything else. Oh, there's a couple things. I almost forgot. So I found a working Dyson V6 with the power head. I uh, had to buy the charger and the battery, but it works perfectly fine. I'm not sure why they got rid of it, but it also came with the little dock here. And then I found some Dyson V8 parts. This stuff is actually worth a little bit of money. Um, again, most of these attachments look like they were never used, but this fluffy roller, that's worth a good amount of money too. Came with the instruction book. Um, some of the other stuff, this looks like it was used at some point. Yeah, I was actually kind of upset. Um, I almost passed right by this and the only reason I happened to look at it was because I thought well, I knew that this wasn't a vacuum, but this was kind of poking out of it. So I just figured, you know, it's a Dyson stick vacuum box. It looks to be in decent enough condition. I wonder if there's anything in it. And there was nobody, you know, driving next to me. So I just decided to pull over and have a look. And sure enough, it was full of all these Dyson V8 parts. So I'm at a loss to where the rest of the machine went. But if I ever get a Dyson V8 or decide to sell this stuff, It'll work. <laughs> so that's that. And then uh, let's see. I don't think there's really too much more. Yeah, so I found this. This was with a bunch of other stuff and I just picked it up. It's a Ryobi string trimmer. It probably works, but I don't have a Ryobi battery for it. There's that other Kirby part. Yeah, I don't think uh, this I did showcase in another video, but I found this. I've already fixed it up. The video has not been made live yet, I don't think. If it has, go ahead and watch it. Um, but this works perfect. The only thing I had to do was put that uh, filter cover on, which this machine doesn't even have a filter cover, or a filter, rather. It's just a little screen. Um, but I actually did a review on this, and I didn't really need to even show myself fixing it up because that's all I did was um, just cleaned it up a little bit, put some screws through the uh, engine into the case because it was really floppy because they were missing. And then I replaced the filter cover and the little gasket that goes under that. That was it. So I think that's pretty much it. I did find, I don't know if I showcased this, but I did find another uh, newer Briggs engine was missing a bunch of parts. You guys saw this. This is just waiting to be stuck on another machine. I actually went through and uh, cleaned up everything pretty well up here. So I definitely have a bunch of projects in the works. And hopefully you guys will see most of them if they're uh, worth fixing. But until next time, you guys stay tuned for more videos.